Hey SeaDo fans, I'm Randy Cabrera, SeaDo Ambassador, and today I'm going to go over some of the must-have riding gear that I would recommend. When you dream of that perfect day on the water, you're probably thinking of sun, sand, or your favorite cove. No matter what the day looks like, I always pack for all conditions, so I don't have to cut the day short because I forgot something. After years on the water, here are my favorite essential pieces of riding gear you'll want to have. You know the first thing we have to talk about is your PFD, or personal flotation device. The simple fact is, you're legally required to wear one while operating a personal watercraft. And that's true pretty much anywhere in the world. Now, unlike most gear that you would consider safety gear, SeaDo PFDs are thoughtfully designed in several styles and materials with real rider feedback for men, women, and kids. So, while this is a legal requirement, there are so many options out there, you can be sure to find the perfect PFD that is one, comfortable, two, fits well, and three, actually looks cool. SeaDo offers nylon, neoprene, and ecoprene material PFDs. The nylon option is colorful, durable, and cooler on those hot summer days. The neoprene offers great flexibility and is more form-fitting and will keep you warmer when it's chilly out. The Ecoprene is the best of both as it's flexible and form-fitting and features the airflow design to breathe more on the hot days. There is a huge selection of colors and designs within each range, so my family and I have many different colors and styles which we all really like. It's kind of like a bit of personality in our PFDs. Alright guys, my personal favorite is the new Ecoprene Airflow. Love this jacket. A lot of people stop thinking of gear with their PFD, but what you wear in your bottom half is just as important as what you wear in the top half. Neoprene shorts are a bottom half essential. Why, you might ask? Well, they're longer cut than your average swim shorts, so your legs aren't sticking to the seat. They protect you from the sun and wind, and if you were to fall off the back of the unit, they're a lifesaver in protection. You'll appreciate these neoprene shorts, especially if coming off at higher speeds, trust me. Now. Let's talk sun protection. There's lots of options to help protect you. One, sunscreen. Two, sunglasses. Three, hat. Four, rash guard. Five, neoprene shorts, which we just covered. Sunscreen is an essential. Ensure it's applied and you've got some spare packed in your seat. There are some great sea-friendly options available. Let's talk sunglasses. Traveling at speed on water, you're dealing with sunshine, water, reflection, and water spray. A great pair of sunglasses is essential. You'll see me wear my favorite glasses out on the water. They just need to fit firmer on your face, and I would recommend a sunglass cord, or a pair of sea sunglasses with the built-in straps. It really just depends on what I'm doing. If I'm traveling short distance at low speeds, I just wear my everyday glasses. If I'm going for a long ride, and greater speeds, seriously consider a purpose-built pair of sunglasses. These SeaDo sunglasses are UV resistant, water and wind resistant, and come with this band which helps ensure they stay on your face no matter what speed you're traveling or how much water splash you're taking on. And while you're out riding, you may forget just how long you're really out in that sun for. Protecting your head is super important. I wear a hat, forwards or backwards, just depending on how fast I'm going. It's simple, but a great solution. The next thing that I would recommend is a rash guard. Not only does it feel good, but it's going to add an extra layer of protection from the sun. The SeaDo rash guards come in both short sleeve and long sleeve styles, and you can get either more form-fitting, athletic fit, or a looser, relaxed fit. And what's great about the rash guard? Well, they offer great protection from the sun with SPF 50 plus protection. Second, it's called a rash guard for a reason it'll save your skin from a long day of sweating in the heat. And third, they're quick drying, and anyone who spent a full day in a wet cotton t-shirt knows exactly how uncomfortable that can be. Okay, so you're prepped for the sun. Let's look at comfort and functionality, and what's in the area of the body we haven't discussed. Your feet. Your feet are the foundation when riding. Having good traction makes a world of difference. SeaDo has a large range to choose from in both shoes and boot styles. I personally wear the shoes. They fit well, they provide a ton of traction, and I really like the way they feel. I love them because again, they help with traction and grip, 
and also protects you when you step off from rocks, oysters, shells, and makes launching and loading a lot safer at slippery boat ramps. With the right footwear, I don't have to worry about what I'm stepping on when I'm hopping off my seat at the sandbar or at the beach. The other thing to consider is gloves. This is great for those who are taking longer rides, riding aggressively, or riding in cooler conditions. Huge bonus, sun protection, warmer hands, and no blisters. The other thing to consider in cooler months are a riding jacket and riding pants. Both are amazing. And even though I don't need to wear a riding jacket too often, it's one of those pieces of riding gear I'm most thankful for when I do need it. Well, that's my quick list of riding gear and essentials for a day on the water. At the end of the day, whatever you choose for riding gear will come down to what fits your needs and feels best for your style and riding conditions. So as you can see, Sea-Doo has you covered from head to toe. So visit your local sea dealer or sea to see the full collection. I'll catch you on the water soon. I'm going to do some shopping.